in this moment, I feel like floating. I'm so ready. So ready to be in the ocean, chilling. Ah, just letting the water take me. Right now in my life, this is Miriam Yisrael, throne coach. Um, I am transitioning to uh, do full, do coaching full time. So I myself are, am in transition and I am supporting women uh, in transition in their lives. Um, <laughs> I've had so many. I've had so many shifts and changes in my life. Uh, to be honest with you, I could not have seen this particular change, well, say 20 years ago, when I was under the thumb of a boyfriend who thought he had all of the answers for me uh, and literally refused to let me speak uh, my ideas and thoughts with other people. It had to go through him. Um, and this was what was considered a healthy relationship um, at the time. He thought it was healthy. <laughs> it was highly suggested by him, oh yeah. Um, so yeah, I would have never thought that I'd be uh, living my dreams. At that point, I had no dreams. <laughs> no dreams for myself. Um, it was like just, at that point, it was just an unspoken uh, agreement. My life is no longer for me. It is for him. It's for my family. It's for other people I choose to love. Um, but yeah, life was not for me. I'm, I was supposed to get all of my happiness, all of my joy for making other people's lives better and make their dreams come true. So <laughs> in a way, I've, I've just altered it. So now I'm a coach and I'm, I'm helping women go and transition <laughs> so that they can create the joy that they really want. But you gotta <laughs> be able to see what that joy is for yourself first. Oh my God, I've I've had so many, so many, um, so many versions of myself over the years, and it's been wonderful. It's been fabulous. Uh, I've been an actor. Uh, in in my journey to be a a working actor in New York City, I became a spoken word artist. <laughs> And I'd be like, no, I'm not a spoken word artist, I'm an actress. They're like, yeah, but we know you for poetry. I'm like, yeah, but that's just something that I do. <laughs> Hilarious, I love it. I've, I've, <laughs> I've done my own plays, um, which were fabulous. Um, I love theater, by the way. I just will always be around theater. If I, if, if I uh, am in a show or produce a show or direct a show, you should see it. <laughs> okay, so, so I'm an artist. That was a huge transition. To even get to the point of calling myself an artist, it was, it was like I couldn't. I just couldn't. I couldn't bring myself to give myself enough credit to call myself an artist. It's like, yeah, I have ideas, but that doesn't mean I'm an artist. Yeah, you know, I do shows, but that doesn't mean you should see me. <laughs> yeah, I sing, but that doesn't mean I could do it professionally. That doesn't mean you should pay a ticket to come, come hear my voice. Like, all of this stuff that I uh, attach to being an artist instead of like I'm just a regular person well artists are regular people right <laughs> and while I was an artist I also was um 
um, working for corporate America. Um, I did a thing, which I still do to this day, uh, called, um, what do you call it? <laughs> At first, for like a decade, I worked for financial firms. So I, I did what was called a financial uh, presentation specialist or financial operator work and that was fabulous I thought I was done I'm like let me get the kids now you know <laughs> I'm good I'm a financial operator you know and then I decided to get into legal um, if you if you haven't noticed this is a lot of life right some of it happened concurrently. <laughs> I went into legal and I did similar work, but they call it a different title for law firms. And so I have literally over 20 years of experience um, supporting executives um, in high powered billion dollar firms in New York City and it's like yeah okay <laughs> sure that was another version and I still work remotely doing that doing that work trying not to include the the gorgeous families out here having fun they're, they're so cute and adorable but they didn't ask to be on camera so I'm not I'm not, I'm not trying to spoil their fun so that beach though, about to, I'm about to hop in. Hell yeah. Let me let me walk along the water and hold my, my phone tighter. <laughs> Shoot. Oh man. Life is just so dang good. Goodness gracious. And I still have my, my mask on. That's because it there's just a lot of people right here in this particular part, but I'm coming up on a spot where there's like almost nobody. I'm taking it off. Yeah. Here goes. All right. Let me get these feet wet. Just a little though. Can you? There you go. Yo, it's just gorgeous, right? Oh yeah. Oh, it's just it's just so freaking awesome. So let me not have these flip flops fly off. <laughs> I'm trying to stay in the part where it's not too deep when when the water comes up. Um. <laughs> yeah. So. I actually still do the work for law firms or financial firms, right? Working for a financial firm right now, that, that's pretty awesome. You know, the thing about it is that I always love the people who work with me. Like, the people are freaking amazing. Can't be beat. The people who work for these companies are like fly is all get out I, I i can love to go to work just to be around them and joke with them and and party with them for the christmas party <laughs> you know and the summer barbecue these are really great people um who a lot of the times they actually do love what they do i personally have uh, have found a professional pride in what i do at first to be honest, it was like, it was like, you know, I come from Brownsville. I come from Brownsville, Brooklyn, a, a, a bad neighborhood. A lot would say, a lot have said. Um, and yeah, I was a smart girl in Brownsville, Brooklyn. And when I got out into the workforce, not a single thing translated that I learned. And I was like, what the entire hell am I supposed to do? Uh, let me reverse that. What in the entire heaven am I supposed to do? 
<laughs> Cause I'm here on earth and I ain't got shit to offer. That's how I felt. That's how I felt. I don't know. You <laughs> you may feel the same with you you being in transition. Going from wherever you are now where you feel like you're an expert to <laughs> These waves are crazy, yo. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm not showing you what's going on. The sea is attacking me. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> oh my goodness. So you can see, can you see the water? They had to clear out this section because the water's coming all the way up. Whoo! Goodness gracious. Wow. Yeah! <laughs> All right. I, I, I got back to a, a section <sighs> that has less. It's a lot. Okay. It wet my, it wet my whole sarong thing going. It wet my whole sarong. So now I'm walking around with wet sarong. <laughs> and that's fine. Whoa, uh oh. So, huh, let me show you. This is what happens when the beach water goes further than what people built up the stuff to be. Now this is this is really like going on a tangent, I know. But um, I heard from locals um, that the beach didn't used to come up this, this far. I mean the ocean. The ocean didn't used to come up this far. And um, so that is coming up so far is a little bit new for the place. So what to do, what to do? Um, and then I hear from other people, it's nothing to worry about. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, we got, we got Mexican rappers. It's, we got everything out here. So, um, yeah, with the, with the whole, uh, just, just a little bit. I'll, I'll talk about it just a little bit. The, um, there are other people, locals, who say, yeah, the beach gets washed out every winter and comes back every summer. And then I heard, yes, it, this happens every year, but it comes further and further back every year. So the, the ocean takes more and more of the beach every year. So that's interesting and to see these waterfront properties this hotel be be washed out by this beach that is battering the thing the ocean is battering the shore yo goodness gracious so you see this this line in the sand I can guarantee you that was not there a week ago. Like, the ocean continually beats up against the, uh, against the beach and eats away at it. And then what happens, I'm told, is it does not become so strong. It, it stops being so strong and then at some point, in the summertime, it's like it never happened. And the beach is restored and all is well. And it's, it's super cool. So the water is constantly going through a state of change, constantly. Constantly going through a state of change and the beach to deal with it and everything that has uh, 
built themselves around the beach has to deal with it. And that takes many versions, right? Um, but everyone gets through it. So you, I'm bringing it back around, I'm bringing it back around. You going through your transition from where you are now, where everyone is stable, everyone is enjoying your sunshine, right? To, uh, <laughs> and ev everybody's loving that beach. To then going through a change. You're gonna have your winter a little bit. You, you're gonna come up and eat at the shore a little bit. Some stuff is gonna happen. And you know what? Everyone who depends on you will be touched by your change. That is for sure. That is for absolute sure. Now, how you maneuver that, how you manage that, how you ensure your loved ones are taken care of or not. How you ensure that your loved ones get to take care of themselves. I just said a word. <laughs> how you ensure your loved ones get to take care of themselves so that you can go through your transition and have a whole new have a whole new summer that that is the journey that is the journey so i'm happy for this transition to be full-time coach grown coach i'm happy for living my life the way i want i'm happy for including my family where I can. I told them about this trip a good long time before I was, was taking it. Like, come on, this is where I'm gonna be. What weekend you gonna be with me? What week, what month, right? They haven't made it out. Their priorities are their priorities. And that's okay. I get to thoroughly enjoy them still for where they are and appreciate them for who they are what their priorities are and there is absolutely no love lost oh man this is so good the 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 thing that i'm experiencing is the feeling of i should have done this sooner <laughs> i should have done this a long time ago Oh my goodness gracious. So, you with your transition, do it now. Do it, do it now. Do it now. Oh man, this water feels so good. Change is great. Change is really great. Do you? All right. Enjoy living your free life. Enjoy the next version of who you get to be. Oh my God, I'm so excited for you. I'm so excited for you. That's right, that's right. You know what? Let me see, let me see, let me see. Cause you know I love the water, right? You know I love the water. It's all coming up on me. I can't even include the whole thing, goodness gracious. You live your best life. I'm living mine. I'm going to keep walking along this fabulous beach. Ah. <laughs> oh. The phone. The phone almost. It almost fell. So that means it's time to go. Mwah. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> this is Stone Coach. <laughs> oh, my God. Claim your throne right now. Take care.